stop in the air, beautiful one. Actually now downstream wind picked up. So I'm so happy that I'm using braid. With a thicker mono it would be a nightmare, but with a braid I actually don't feel that, that downstream wind almost at all. At least when it comes to the presentation all I will do, I will keep my rod step a little bit lower to the water and that will be it. So you can see the presentation is simple, you just kinda stop it and let it go, let it go and stop it. See? Easy guys, easy. That was a good example and really quality roach is going towards me. Hopefully it won't come off. Just about to swing it. Beautiful. <laughs> How about that guys? Very angry fish. Fantastic quality roach. Hooked nicely in the side. Perfect. Thank you. plummet in my pocket never fished this little area kinda very good peg it's a little bit faster than than elsewhere on the stretch I need to go a little bit deeper but not much I would say 30 centimeters and I will be bang on like that much should be fine now little fleck right in the middle of the river no actually I will have to go a little bit deeper probably more 30 centimeters I was able to see the float under the water but yeah but it did not pop pop out as, as it should yep now it's perfect and I'm happy to start here. As you can see guys, it's very very easy to plumb up on the stick float. Obviously, during the day you will have to adjust, but at the start you want to know like a rough idea if you like. Easy fishing hopefully it will be. I don't have any keep nets, anything. Uh, really, it's warm, don't want to keep them fishing the net. So as you can see, I only have tears with me, like a tiny piece. I'll try to keep my feeding as tight and accurate as I can. That's very important because I won't be feeding a lot, but I will be feeding consistently and constantly, you know. Okay, let's give it a run. Don't think that I will. As you can see, my actually my bait is still a little bit frozen. Hope I'll be able to put it onto the hook. Just perfect. You can see I'm not feeding a lot. What is that? Seven or eight grains. I noticed that when tear fishing, you don't want to put too much really you want to get the fish competing properly with hemp is different obviously but when you are feeding and fishing the tear seems that you can't get away with much less bait really can't present my rig nicely here in the middle of the river you'll feed during the go as well 
definitely a very good peg for float fishing and I'm into the fish, how about that? what I needed, two or three casts and I'm into a fish not a big fish though for a for a seed fish that's definitely on a smallish side hey, but that's a roach hooked nicely in the side we are of the mark guys, fantastic fish, thank you Okay, let's feed now. As you can see, 10 grains, all you need. As I say, with a hemp, it's different. You can put lots and lots of hemp, but seems that with the tears, you don't have to put as many of them. Nice little fleck. As you can see, I'm doing everything downstream, feeding and casting. Because the more downstream I will go, the, the more control I will have. That was definitely a bite, quite sharp. That's another roach, a little bit bigger. Perfect. How about that for a river roach? Hooked nicely, top lip, perfection, thank you. Really, really love them roach. Hopefully bigger ones will get into the mix soon as well. New seed goes onto the hook. Little fleck. Let's feed them. Really, all I need to do now is to get into a good routine, you know, work out the presentation. Well, presentation is always more or less the same. You have to slow down, just, I mean, slow down the rig, just how much you can and how much you should on the day is the question. Rig is going nicely. Now actually some downstream wind picked up, but like still very very gentle. As I'm using braid, it won't be a problem at all. <laughs> Missed this one. Definitely was a fish. We'll leave it for a little bit. We'll feed. Nice and simple. I think I had another chance. Nice top in the air. Obviously I won't be fishing for very long. For me like to catch 20 roach in next 90 minutes or so, that's perfect. And if I will get one like bigger one, one or two like pound fish, that will be perfection, guys. That's a good fish, I think. Good bite as well. No, maybe it's the same size as the first, uh, second one which is fantastic fish to catch how about that guys fantastic river roach <laughs> as you saw everything is very very simple guys just nice little run and the fish will take your bait if you slow it down just the right amount. Some feed. Nice little group. That was a nice bite. Just I, as I 
was holding on a little bit nicer fish. Wow, lovely. Just look at that rod handling that fish beautifully. Fantastic fish. Oh, -ho. relax, Mr. Roach. Proper river fish. Just look at that perfection, guys. <laughs> That roach went actually into the rocks like like wrasse almost. <laughs> Reminded me some sea fishing for wrasse actually this roach. Thank you for that, Mr. Roach. That was impressive. Really, really enjoying the session, guys. Don't know if. I am able to get it across, but really, really enjoying the session. That was actually early bite, much, much sooner than the rest of them. Most of them so far were a little bit more downstream, but this one was a little bit up, which is great. Obviously, it just goes to show that fish are starting to compete a little bit more and coming up towards the loose feed hopefully gentle cast top in the air just to make sure that my rig you know goes flat on the top as you can see I'm not rushing, uh, rushing at all I'm doing everything even though it might look very slow but I'm doing everything more or less correctly you know it's not a race And if, if I can get fish competing and hooking them, whew, that's a nice roach, guys. <laughs> Gave up, actually. Just look at that. Stop wriggling, Mr. Roach. As you can see, I'm doing everything above the water. If the fish will drop into the water, nothing wrong with that. That just perfect fish. Thank you. New seed goes on. As you can see, I'm putting the seed quite well on, but I'm making sure that the hook's point is out. Obviously, I'm using a relatively soft rod, so don't want to be striking like crazy and then just to make sure that I'm you know hooking the fish now I'm hooking uh, striking relatively gently still hooking the fish and if I'm not hooking the fish then very likely you know my bait still will be like still on after I struck and I will have another chance hopefully on the same run you know just Simple and easy fishing. Little indications there. Come on, just take it, Mr. Roach. That's a good fish. Kinda did not want to take it, but then it kinda dipped and I struck and almost, I know, not that big fish, but <laughs> I'm getting there, guys. Kinda quality roach every single cast. I mean, they are not massive fish yet but fantastic fish to catch <laughs> plum okay let's do it again one more fish and then we will talk about the tackle i'm using in today's roaching session fishing for roach on the river like not a big river like this one when it's running like that like perfectly <laughs> it has something something about it almost could do it exclusively and every day <laughs> just relaxes me for some reason looked like little stop but no Finally got one. 
Nice fish again. I mean, they are not massive so far, but they are quality roach. Game off. Thank you. Right, let's start with the rod. As you can see, that's a Diva Connoisseur match. 17 feet long, so 5 meters and 20 centimeters in length, more or less. And obviously that's a long match type rod with a lot of guides on it. Obviously when fishing on the river the longer rod you will have the more control you will have of your rig. So as I'm fishing on the river which is I don't know here probably 25 meters wide or something this rod is perfect in my opinion for what I'm doing. Then I have a reel which is Diva Fuego 2500. I could use a little bit bigger reel, but it just balances very well with that sweet carbon rod, even though the reel is quite light. Then on the reel, as you can see, I have braid, fine braid 0 0.10, and the braid allows me to use lighter rig and to present my rig better as well because it's very very fine and also the braid floats and you need floating line anyway when fishing on the river because that will help you with the striking and other factors of fishing and the braid does not have any stretch as well which will help you to connect with the fish at distance so all in all braid has all the right properties when float fishing on the river in my opinion okay now let's talk about the rig Okay, I just will walk a little bit towards the float, so you would be able to see a little bit better. So, that's a Dave Harrell insert stick. So basically that's a stick float with a plastic insert at the top, which is great in my opinion. It's quite fine, not super fine, but relatively fine, which is perfect for roach. And also, as it's plastic, it's very well visible. So the size of that stick float is 8 by 4 so it's about 1.7 grams I believe and that rig is tied onto 0 0.17 monofilament line and I have attached that monofilament or rig line to the braid using loop to loop nice and simple then probably meter and a half from the hook I have olivet with some like helper's shot which just are required to balance out my float so that's a uh, one gram olivet and about 10 number eight is locking that olivet then i have probably 40 centimeters from that olivet i have one number eight then another probably 40 centimeters i have another number eight and I have here loop to loop where I attached my hook link. Hook link is 20 centimeters in length made out of 0 0.10 fluorocarbon. Hook is Guru F1 pellet size 18. So as you can see not super delicate but not super light tackle as well. If I will hook like a decent chub very very likely I will be able to land that chub. Also very very important piece of tackle in my opinion when river fishing is just like a waste pouch. I have corda one I believe and it's just great you always have bait at hand. I also have as you can see my catapult in it and also I have discorger in it as well. When it comes to the catapult probably well not probably by far my favorite catapults Th those are old ones, Drennan match type catties they are called. They are just the best catapults you can get I guess for like maggot, caster or seed feeding. Okay, let's continue on fishing. Let's feed. That's a good fish, I think. Yeah, not bad roach at all. Bartman! Oh. You're right on time. 
Oh yeah, plenty of them, beautiful roach. Fantastic fish. Every single time when I put a new bait on, I'm looking for a good one of the biggest I can see, you know, quickly. And it makes sense to, to have the biggest bait or bigger than the rest. Just to make sure it stands out a little bit more. Beautiful. That was perfect bite. Again, how I missed this one. I'm getting good bite, but they are not still like competing and grabbing properly, you know? They are quite... quite skittish still. But one thing for sure, they are biting much closer now. Basically, I don't have to wait too long for the take, which is great, always great. The closer I can get them to compete, obviously not too close, but comfortable, like, you know, a uh, distance from me. So I can present the rig properly, just like that, and it's not too far. So I won't miss a bite. Is that one of the smaller ones? Still fantastic fish. I really nailed that bait. Okay, Mr. Roach, one sec, give me a sec. Yep, Bablo's hook, thank you. Again, biggest seed I can find. Threading it on properly through the middle and the hook's point is out. Perfect. Overhand cast again. Some feed. Perfect. I will get a bite in a sec, you will see. Almost, I think I felt the fish when I was mending the line. Got one... Fantastic fishing, guys. Just fantastic fishing. Quality roach. Hooked nicely. Perfect. Let's feed now. Just to change the pattern a little bit. Fresh seed goes on. Perfect. Little stop. Beautiful. So you can see the presentation is simple. You just kind of stop it and let it go, let it go and stop it. Come on you roach, where are you? That was a good bite. Nice fish as well. Beautiful fish. That's a quality roach, guys. Bang. So you saw I changed something, changed the pattern, and it produced a bigger roach. I mean, it might be a coincidence, but it might 
might be not as well perfect. Little flex, top in the air to make sure my rig is nice and flat on the top so it would not tangle. Beautiful. Rig is going through nicely, will start slowing it down with my finger. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Come on, you roach. Give me a break. Hooked one, beautiful. It was nice little bite. As you can see, guys, presentation is simple once you master it. For me, I kind of I do some some elements of my fishing which I do not even think about. I mean, not a massive or just quality fish. Thank you. Other people do use to like feed, for example, hemp and put tears on the hook. Yes, it's fine, but I don't don't see the need for that. I just get some of the tears. I don't feed as many of them, but they are more practical. You know, you can fire them further. They are easier to hook than hemp as well. Just makes perfect sense for me. More practical bait. That was a good stop. How I managed to end up without a fish on the hook. Not sure, guys. Not sure. Still possibly have a chance of another grab. Come on, Roach. Just take it. Obviously, as I struck, I can't be 100% sure if I have bait on, but I had, so, and hooked a fish. So, this little gamble paid off. Not a big fish, but actually one of the smaller ones for today. But I'm not complaining, the seed is still sticking out. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, those are really the last grains I have. Okay, probably will, will make the last cast this one to be. Yeah guys, this one will be my last cast. No matter what I will catch, I will call it a day and some chub just rolled there. It would be nice to finish up on the roach, but we'll see. Obviously, as I stopped feeding a couple minutes ago, the fish are fading. Obviously, they are going somewhere else, you know. Not many reasons for them to be here, especially with that pike lurking around. Okay, we'll let it run even further. Yeah, now it's too far, can't see it anymore. Yeah, okay guys, it will be it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I hope I managed to explain a little bit about the presentation feeding and other bits of stick float fishing. Hope it will be useful, especially if you are just starting out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.